I'm going to show you the very best way to invest in real estate. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. Today we're working with Paula from Texas. Paula, this property, in my opinion, is the very best type of property you could ever buy, right? Uh, and you specifically asked me to find you some quads, right? Because you, you had saw a quad on a previous video of ours. And in addition to that, we talked about some other things. We talked about the burst strategy, things of that nature. I think the quad is the absolute best investment you can make. And I'm going to spend a considerable amount of time in today's show talking to you about that, right? But a couple things I want to clarify. Number one, the market, it's a moving thing, right? It's a moving thing. You've seen some older videos that we had with some quads. That pricing is no longer happening, right? Those are like, those ain't 2021 prices, right? The market goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. Currently, where we're at right now, the price point, much higher, which you'll see later. Doesn't mean it's a bad investment. I still think it's an amazing investment. But this, this, Paula, is where you need to be if you actually want to take down a quad. That's one point. Second point is you were talking to me about some burrs, and we're looking at burrs. We, we did a couple. We're doing a couple more for you. Uh, but we got to talk about your budget, right? Even with this quad I have for you today, uh, you gave me a budget of 30K cash to work with, right? Uh, you're going to need over over 50 uh, to knock out a quad in the Cleveland market, right? Your budget just isn't enough to knock out a quad. This is about the cheapest quad, so I wanted you to see what you could get today in regards to the quads. And as in regards to the burr strategy that you're trying to pull off here, uh, I don't see a, really a feasible way for you to pull off the burst strategy with $30,000. It's just not going to happen, not in the Cleveland market. You're going to need uh, at minimum 70 to do like a single family burr, probably 100 to do a multifamily burr. But paying attention to that market, the market is incredibly hot right now. So there's not a lot of burr opportunities out there, right? So uh, I want you to take this feedback in this video along with all the other videos I've given for uh, given to you thus far and really circle back, get back to the drawing board and uh, let me know how you want to shift your criteria or how you want to shift your budget to actually take things down like this quad, which if you can do it, I really think you should because I believe this quad is probably the best deal I've presented to you. Let's take a look at the quad and what makes the quad so good right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Now we are going to get into the meat, the meat of this four-unit apartment building. And I think the four-unit apartment building is literally the greatest investment you could make as a new real estate investor, okay? It is superior to the five-unit apartment building and to the three-unit apartment building. Do the math on that, right? The four is better than the one right under it, and it's also better than the one right over it. How does that work, right? Because of the financing. The financing of a four-unit apartment building makes it the most superior asset that I believe you can buy. Let me explain. In real estate, right? Financing should be the number one reason you want to invest in rental real estate, right? You're getting a mortgage from the bank and then your tenants are paying off that mortgage and you're making cash flow and you're making appreciation, right? This is why more millionaires, self-made millionaires have been made through real estate than anything else in the world, right? They ain't making no more land, okay? And if people want to loan you money, take it. It's the cheapest kind of money you can get if you get a residential loan, okay? Here's the thing with residential loans. There's two downsides. One, you only get 10 of them, so you're very limited to what you can do, so you better use all 10. Two, it's a very small t small amount of properties that you can utilize this amazing residential financing. Single families, duplexes, triplexes, quads. Quads, the biggest property you can get with this amazing residential financing. If you get a four unit, you get more rent than if you get a three unit. If you get a five unit, 
You can't get residential financing. You now got to get commercial financing, which is not as attractive. No longer do you get super low interest. You probably got higher interest. No longer do you get a fixed down payment amount. It's probably going to be a lot higher than the 25% you're used to. No longer do you get 30 years to pay it back. More like five. That's what we're typically seeing, right? A lot of variable rates. The whole thing's all messy, okay? So the four unit, my favorite. We got a four unit that just hit the market in Cleveland. 34, 32, West 40. First, Cleveland 4 for 109. Solid like C type D grade area. Pretty close to Metro Health. Metro Health, they're investing a billion dollars into their campus and the surrounding area. So this, if you're going to buy low income stuff, this is where I like to be. So as far as the neighborhood goes, I think it's the best low income neighborhood in Cleveland. And as far as the asset goes, the best type of asset I think you could buy. Needless to say, I freaking love this deal. Now, uh, big old quad here, fully occupied, right? So the photos you see, this is before they put the tenants in there. And, you know, it's a hodgepodge of photos, right? We got some outdated carpet. Uh, this is probably why they're getting below market rents, right? The rents are not, like, extremely below what they should be, uh, but they're not as high as they should, right? So as we as investors continue to operate this, we would want to aim to make a better look to our units so we can get the actual market rents, right? Because this particular investor, they're not maxing out their investment by like leaving this carpet in here like this. This doesn't make anybody money, right? He's losing money because the people that are picking uh, and choosing apartment like this are going to pick it because it's like cheaper than everything else or just because it's like what they could afford or what was available, right? If you provide them something nicer, they'll pay a premium, number one. Number two, more importantly, they will stay longer, right? So we're probably going to see natural turnover at this building. And at that point, you want to go in, repaint all the walls, rip out this old carpet, refinish those beautiful hardwoods, and, you know, really spruce things up, right? But as far as the mechanicals go, looking good, man. These furnaces, they look pretty darn new to me. Hot water tanks, pretty darn new as well. Furnaces, just so everybody's aware, these last 30 years, and they cost about $3,000 to replace. These hot water tanks last about 15 years, cost $1,000 each to replace, right? We got a quad, so we got four of each, but all looking freaking new. Updated electrical, right? So it's just cosmetic is uh, what's not looking fly, and it's a uh, brick building, which is quite nice, right? Don't have to worry about as many uh, paint issues, right? Like Cleveland, they're not gonna, uh, cracking down on lead-based paint, right? You don't have exterior uh, wood painted surfaces for the majority of the building. Yes, you got a little bit of the porch, but imagine if your whole building was wood, right? So it really eliminates a lot of your issues, okay? Now, as I said, the rents are a little bit lower, right? The current rents that we're seeing, I believe they have it on their listing, don't they? Yes. The current rents we're seeing, 550, 650, 650, 650, right? Now, and if this investor would have taken the time to actually make their units a little bit nicer. They could have maxed it out and got what we should really be receiving, which is actually $3,000 a month. We should be bringing in three grand a month because those are all $750 units all friggin' day, right? So that's thirty six k a year. Now, what that's going to look like is probably a expense estimate for the year, just under 19 Gs, right? So you're looking at a little bit over 17000 in pure profit. As far as the price goes, right, they're asking two and a quarter, okay? Two and a quarter. We got to bid two and a quarter, if not above list. You should probably bid above list because there's going to be multiple people trying to take this thing down because it's the greatest type of investment there is. The financing really allows you to stretch things out. Look at this. If you bought it at 225 what they're asking, which, again, you're probably going to want to bid higher, but if you can get it at 225 if you're lucky enough, you only got to put down 56 and a quarter. We're going to get the bank to give you 168750 on a 30-freaking-year loan. It's going to project out to a 16% cash-on-cash cash return, a 7-7 seven, seven cap, right? If, if you only get 10 mortgages, right, why do you want to burn your 10 mortgages on a single? Why take a mortgage and get one rental income check when you can take the same mortgage and get four rental income checks? checks imagine if you can get 10 of these suckers 40 rental income checks for all these little mortgages right the thing with the cleveland market is quads do not come up on the market every day quads also don't come on the market very often where the big ticket items the furnaces the hot water tanks the electric all fresh and new right so at least 225 is what you need to pay. I think you should probably pay a little bit more. 
Let me know how much you want to bid because I do not think you want to pass this one up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.